All right, so just a couple things here. You can see we did this post to chat as opposed to before when we did the print. We did the post to chat, which now sends it over to the Minecraft world, which is pretty important for us to do. But now the, the game, we don't want to be where we don't want to have to run this code every time we want our position. You know, we want it where, where it automatically keeps going on. And so we can create what's called a loop. Um, in this case, we're going to create an infinite loop. And the only way that we can stop this loop is by kicking it out of the Python program, by stopping the, the, the program. And the way that we would stop a program is we would go up here to our shell and we would just exit the module. We would restart the, the module there. Uh, or you can pr compress control C on the keyboard as well. And so what we want to do is this. We want to add a loop block in here. So I'm going to get out of this program actually because I don't want that one anymore. I want this one here where we've got our nicer, where it's posting over there to the chat of our Minecraft world. And so what we want to do is we have this import time. And you can see that this line marked here, um, we want it to repeat. And then we can go through and figure out what we want to do uh, when we type this up. So the way we do that is we have this time sleep for one. And so we want to go right here, and we want to create a new code, um, a new line of code here. And we want to say, while true, colon, all right? And we want to indent this, because this is going to be part of this, this code here. The time sleep is one, and our position of our player, get position and then here. I'm actually going to backspace that out. There we go. And so now as we go on and run this, we should be able to walk around and every one second the coordinates should be posted down to the chat. So let's see if this actually works here. So let's slide on over to our Minecraft. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit so you can see the whole screen. Alright, let's go ahead and run this module. So you can see every one second now they move around it's printing. Now that is just going to bombard my screen, but you get the idea that it's posting the entire time. And so what we've done is something really important for you to think about is when we went over here, if we go back to our code, all right, what we've done is we've used indentation and it's so important in anything that you code and program in terms of keeping your code looking nice and clean. But it's structured. And this, what this does is it takes groups of statements that belong with other statements. And so these three statements belong here while this is true. Okay, so this is completely, completely, completely very, very important. Um, so when you use while loops and other statements, it shows where they belong. And so they're indented because they belong to the loop. And this is just looping the whole entire way through. And so if we were to change this, we could have this go through and say whatever we want. And if you don't get the indentation right, that syntax error will pop up. and It'll tell you that your indentation is, is not correct. And so that's just uh, another key piece for your pro programming as you get more and more advanced that you're going to want to pay attention to. All right, guys, so now we know how to do our location and track that down. Now it's time to move on to our next adventure.